Welcome, uh, my name is Craig Vandenut and I'm with Vans Lumber. I'd like to welcome you into our current design that we are just finishing. Uh, the owner will be moving in uh, very shortly. Uh, what we presently had here before we built the home, uh, there was an existing cottage which we tore down and we redesigned the home. We had a very difficult lot to work with. Uh, we had problems, we had to be so many feet away from the water, 75 feet away from the water. And we also had to work with the owner, had a sentimental garden in the front of the house that we had to try and, and keep our distances, certain distances away from the house. What really made it unique and fun is that the owner had this unique mantle surround from Italy. And when he told me it was over 120 years old, it, was, it really is a fine piece of art. So what we wanted to do is how can we incorporate this in the building design and, and make it work for the owner. So we found a fireplace that, that fit the specs that would fit inside this surround. And, and then when he went with a wood burning fireplace, we had to actually find the hearth material that would match this beautiful piece of artwork. And we were able to find an onyx material that really seems to have the same gold or same tone as the mantle surround. When we looked at the site, we noticed that the house his existing cottage was overgrown with trees and was really, really dark. So what we really wanted to do with this new, new design was make it real, have abundance of natural light and bring a lot of the, the nice, beautiful outside light, bring it in so you felt like you were outside. So by adding these transom windows, we're able to bring a lot of natural light into, into the cottage. Also a 42 inch pine chair railing gives it more of that Door County cottage feel. Walking into the kitchen area, the owner incorporates some Carrera marble that he was able to find. And one unique feature with the Carrera marble is the veininess that you see. A lot of Carrera marble has a real blurry texture, and the owner went to eight different suppliers to find this beautiful, perfect piece. Also, the light fixtures are, are uh, blown glass, custom made for the kitchen. The marble has a hone finish so it doesn't disrupt the glass subway tile that he has. The cabinets with the curved shelving, the curved crown molding, just all nice little features that really make this cottage feel like a home. I really like the cabinet design he picked out. As you'll notice there isn't any frames at all on the cabinets. They're all a, a full door overlay all custom made by Wilco Cabinets. In our original design, we had this room built as a screened-in porch. But when we were framing the building, the owner really wanted to use this room year-round. So we converted the screen porch into a sunroom by putting Anderson patio doors and transoms, the beaded ceiling, the transoms we added, the stonework, the natural slate tile, and actually able to get heating and air conditioning ductwork run into this room so he'll be able to use it year round. On one end of the house we have the master suite which has its own private, private bath, um, polar uh, custom shower door, and the tile shower was uh, built by our tile people with uh, benches and glass tile and niches. Also, we incorporate another uh, piece of the owner's artwork, this marble sink that he had in his possession that he wanted to use during construction. Little creativity, it was a little on level, so we had to square it off, but it worked out quite well. And walking into the master suite, we added the vaulted ceilings to give it a larger feeling. Again, added, working with transom windows to allow more natural light to come in since we have a lot, we have quite a covered porch extending out, carrying the number three uh, maple flooring throughout the, throughout the cottage to give it a warm custom feel, a little bit of character. And wherever you stand and look out this house, you have a tremendous view of the water. Another nice feature of the home is we are on a crawl space, so we do not have a basement. So there's a lot of room underneath the stairs going up to the upper level. So we're able to tie in a desk and a, a bookshelves and storage area for him. 
Upstairs, there's also two guest bedrooms and a full bath. Uh, the nicest part of the upstairs is the porch that you can stand on and, and obviously the incredible view that you have looking out over Lake Michigan. And finally, I think one of the coolest or quietest areas is this house even has a library. And we have the Santos mahogany flooring and the custom cabinetry work to match the flooring. So a nice little area to sit back, and relax, and listen to the waves crash against the shore. And I would like to thank you for stopping and visit our lovely Door County home.